Hello, my name is David Brigido from Bristol Composite Institute and alongside Peter Batorsky, Robert Soleski from Barca University of Technology and my supervisors Stephen Burrow and Benjamin Woods from University of Bristol. We're working together to develop a smart wing that is based on vacuum packet particles. Vacuum packet particles in a sense are some particles that are confined by vacuum. So here is a vacuum packet ground coffee. As you can see, if I try to bend it, it's very stiff. And it's, it's stiff because the vacuum confines the grains in all directions. But if I open the back, the vacuum is released, the grains are loose, and the whole structure will be soft enough to be deformed. So we want to use these mechanisms to make a morphine structures that can vary a stiffness by varying the vacuum pressure. <laughs> So we are working with a morphine structure that is called the fish bag. So here is a prototype. As you can see, it has a spine and branching up some stringers. So this whole concept tries to mimic the fish skeleton and it's very flexible. So as you can see between the spine and the stringers, there are gaps or it's completely filled, uh, empty space that we can fill with granular media. And because everything is sealed in an elastic membrane, and we can actually use a granular jamming. So the vacuum is applied or the air is actually sucked by some vents that are through the stringers and there are some holes at the end of the spar. So when the vacuum pump is activated, the grains uh, con uh, confine and the whole structure becomes very stiff to hold the desired deflection. But when the vacuum is off, the the morphine trailing edge can be the form and it can change shape very easily. So uh, the idea of this project is because it's highly bending dominated. You know, we want to understand the flexural properties of the grain at different vacuum pressure rate and rates. So we came up with two different models to explain this behavior. The first one works with the, it's based on more column failure on calcium. And the other one is based on plasticity. Both models agree with the experimental data. Okay. Later on, we uh, make some flexural experimental tests on this new concept. So we applied a uh, bending law at the tip of the spine. So as we, uh, there are different conditions of vacuum. So if we increase the vacuum pressure, uh, the whole spine will be very stiff and we will get very low deflections. But if we reduce the vacuum pressure, we'll actually high. Uh, we obtain higher deflections, as you can see in the right upper picture. For e and in the right bottom pictures, you can see the experimental results compared with the uh, with my uh, my the results of my bean model. As you can see, uh, they agree with a relative error of less than five percent. Well, now we are working with a uh, fluid structure interaction program. Uh, that is coupled with my bin model and the computational fluid dynamic uh, program in order to obtain the deflections of the new, new concept at different flow conditions. The deflections change in two different cases. The first case is if we change the Reynolds numbers or the wind speed. And the other one is if we increase the angle of attack. So the first picture on the left, you can see as we increase the wind speed, there will be a higher uh, lift distribution force in the upper zone. So that will deflect the spine upwards. And in the right pictures, you can see as we increase the angle of attack, there also will be an increase of the uh, lift forces in the upper surface, and that will deflect the spine upwards. We can control the deflection of the spine by controlling the vacuum pressure. So now we can actually fly so sm smart, so smart that we can increase the lift to drag ratio reduce the drag, noise, and fuel consumption. Um, well, I want to acknowledge uh, EPSRC, Conai State, uh, Bristol Composite Institute, and Saber for the funding. And I also want to acknowledge my collaborators from Barcelona University of Technology. I uh, hope you like my presentation, and thank you very much for your time.